Hello, hello, students. Good afternoon. Well, good evening. It's not afternoon anymore. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are good you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello. How are you? How was your weekend? Fine. It was Very fine. Nice. What did you do? Oh, fine, oh, fine. What did you do? Uh, well, in, in my house. You spent <laughs> time in the house with the family? Yes. Okay, that's very good. Did you go anywhere? No, just just at home. Yes, all the all the I I rent the bus. Uh, all the people, and uh, no no coming no 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 trick with me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I I was waiting for you at Metro Centro, but the bus never yeah. appeared, and I said yeah. like, hey hey they they. Yeah. They left me here as the <laughs> as Novia de Pueblo, right? Yes, I, yes, it's true. I was there all dressed up <laughs> and and with no with no trip, and I said like, "Hey, uh, yeah, Carlos yeah. Antonio told me that we were going to go to the beach with what, all the what students." What happened with the temerarios teacher? <laughs> <laughs> I went to the concert. I went. Yes. I told you. I okay. told you that there was a concert on on Friday for los temerarios. <laughs> and you didn't want to go with me, you see. But the concert was good, right? We really enjoyed it. Uh -huh. And your friends, where are they? Huh? Put on the chat that we're waiting for them. They say like, uh -huh, last class, bye-bye, goodbye. And no, I mean, they should be here. Let me write on the chat so they can come. And we're, we're going to make a little susto for them. I said, we're, we're waiting for you in class, so I'm going to say. Huh. Okay, so. <laughs> there you go. We're waiting for you in class. Good. Okay, so Nubia, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, teacher, and you? I'm doing great. A, a little bit, I am. I have these two emotions right now. I am happy and sad. <laughs> happy. I am happy I and feel, sad. I feel happy. Me too. I feel happy because you are finishing and you are moving forward to the next level. And sad because, I mean, because you are leaving, right? But I think that there is nothing better for a teacher than checking on their students, on her students growing and her students improvement. And that is something very rewarding. So I am, I am very proud of the group because you are a very nice group. You are very, uh, you are really motivated. You are very participative. You are very fun. You're, I mean, you're very funny to be with. So it is, it's really nice. You're, to you're very good teacher. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> You blush me. Hello, Evelyn, Mariela, how are Excellent. you? Excellent. Thank you. Hi, good evening, fine, and you? I am doing great, Evelyn. Yeah, the concert of Los Temerarios was good. <laughs> it was very nice. <laughs> Only right, the promises of the of the trip to the beach. Hmm. And we didn't go. <laughs> Maybe one day. Imagine, imagine how nice it will be the life without the pandemic and all of us in the same classroom having fun, laughing. It would be amazing. <laughs> or we never know, That's right? <laughs> we never know. Okay. Imagínense si no hubiera pandemia. Hubieran tenido quizás la oportunidad de, o, el, o el, el tiempo de tomar este curso y decir, hey, si sí quiero aprender inglés. Right. Al menos la pandemia tuvo sus pros y sus contras. Y este ha sido un gran pro que les dio la oportunidad de estar, de, de poderse inscribir, de estar en su casa, estar seguros, estar eh, a salvo y también pues tomar el, el, el curso y, y desarrollarse en otro idioma. To be an English speaker in this very short period of time. So we never know, you see, for the good, for the bad, for the better. Después de haber pasado por todas las etapas de pandemia, right? 
el TikToker, el panadero, el desesperado, el enfermo, all these different stages. Me alegra que hayan alcanzado la etapa de la mejora continua, el estudiar. ¿Okay? Esa es la mejor decisión que pudieron haber tomado. Así que síganla tomando, síganse preparando. Uh, you are very good students, right? Definitely, you are very good. And English is like that. I mean, the more you practice, the more you learn. And so keep on working like that. So to start the class, we're going to do a little activity that it's called two truths, one lie. So think about three facts about you. Two are going to be real and one is going to be a lie. For example, and I'm going to give you one example. Well, this is me, right, teacher Nati. One fact. Um, I like to make uh, TikTok videos. Two, let's see. I love animals and I wanted to be a veterinarian. And three, uh, I cannot ride a bike. Which one is not real? Number one and number two. Okay. Number three. Okay. I gave you three things. One, I love to make videos for TikTok. The second one, I was going to be a veterinarian. And the third one, uh, I cannot ride a bike. Which one is not real? I, I think the first one bike. is like. The first, the first one. number one. The first one is not real. Yes. Yeah, yeah the not first real. one. <laughs> the first one is not real. Yeah. No, the third is not real. Okay. The third one is not real, you say. Hmm. Do you agree on that? <laughs> No, well, in other class, you, you mentioned that you can ride a bike. Exactly. So that one is true. That yes. one is true. The second one, I wanted to be a veterinarian, but I couldn't. It's true. And the third one, I don't make TikTok videos. I love TikTok. And I have some, <laughs> but I never publish them. Right? I have many TikTok videos, but I don't publish them. It's because I make them with my song, so they are private just for the family. <laughs> One day when I become a TikToker, I am going to send you the link for you to follow me. Okay. So the first one, it's not Perfect. real, right? <laughs> Please pass the link. Okay. Yeah, I am going to pass you the link for you to follow the teacher in TikTok. Okay, so yes, I was going to be a veterinarian, but mm -mm, I couldn't, right? I couldn't. One day uh, I had many fish on a tank and one fish died on my hand and I was crying and crying and crying like for three hours and my father told me no Natalie no se te muere un animal bo vas a llorar por meses <laughs> and I was like it's true my father is an agronomer so that's why he told me no no not that one is not real so I really wanted to be a veterinarian. Now, it's your turn. I need you to think, I need you to think about three things from you. One has to be a lie. One hasn't, uh, one has to be a lie, like Pinocchio, right? Hmm? A lie. And the two of them have to be real. So if you want to write them down, it's okay. Or if you have them in mind already, you can mention them. You can write it down, okay? Dos verdades, una mentira. And we are going to discover which one is the lie. Chun, chun, chun. Janet, do you have them? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. Pay attention to discover what... Okay. The first one is, I like to sing. Mm -hmm. The second one is, uh, I have a small car. Mm -hmm. And the third, I am in my, uh, in my 20s. What is the third? What is the Who's third? Who's a lie? <laughs> okay, the please, first one. Please, please, I'm in my 20s. The third. the third one is that she is in her 20s. The first one is that she likes to sing. And the second one, she has a small car. The second is the truth. The, the false. The false. 
Re repeat the, the, the three for. I am in my twenties. She's in her twenties, okay? Anda de los 20, 21, 22, de 20, 29 that's a años. Yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, it's, it's a true. It's a true. Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Yanira. All girls to say uh, nothing, no, no words, <laughs> nothing. All girls no. say um, uh, yeah. 29 uh, down. <laughs> no, I mean, it's because okay. the ladies, uh, I mean, we go from 1 to 29, and that's it. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, I, I am um, 28, you can say. 28. Yeah, so, then stand up, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say I'm I, I am tall. <laughs> I say I'm in my twenties. <laughs> so they say that you are not in your twenties. Okay, I think that the first one is a lie. I think okay. that the first one is a lie. Who gives more? Who gives, who more? gives more? Who gives the more? Second, the second is the false. You don't For have me, a small the car. second is the false. Okay, that she doesn't okay. have a small car. Okay, Janet, tell us. The lie is that I am in my twenties. <laughs> <laughs> how how old are you? I'm in my thirties. Oh, you're in your thirties. 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 I you have 30, 36. I am. You say I am. Oh. I am thirty six. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. What happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> it's a good life. How do, teacher, how do you <laughs> say your things? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you say you don't look like. You don't look like. When you a person look. says, for example, I am 36, you say like, hey, you don't look like. Right? You, you don't look like 36. Well, I am 36 and I don't look like. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. No? Yes. Well, I I don't know. I mean, many people say, I know you are like 20. When I say like, how old are you? And you say like, how old do you think I am? They say 28. And I say like, oh yeah, correct. <laughs> 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 and that's it. I think we are in the in a very similar age here. Yes. How, how old are you, Umberto? Um, I am 42. Really? So you yeah. see, you don't look like Evelyn. How old are you? <laughs> I am 28. 28. So you see, you look younger. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. How old are you? 20 something. The, the first, uh, I like to cook cheese pupusas. Uh huh. And number two, I have three parkit. ¿Cómo se dice parkit? <laughs> Parakeet. Parakeet. Okay, and not the kids. Have, the the parakeet. Uh, no. <laughs> I have three parakeets. Yes. And number three, I'm an engineer. Ha. Uh -huh. I am an engineer. I have three. I am an engineer. And the what is the what is the, the first one? Uh, she likes to cook cheese poopoo. To cook so, cheese poopoo. <laughs> Cheese Which one pupusas. do you think it's not true? Number two, what? I think maybe number two. <laughs> number well, two, number, no. Number two, yes. number yes. two. I, I number two. The number one. one. <clears throat> she uh -huh. looks like an, an engineer. Uh, she looks like yes. an engineer, huh? It's true. Yeah. Oh. Engineer. <laughs> so, Nubia, which one is not true? Uh, it's not true. Uh, I'm not. Engineer. No, she said you're a yeah, teacher. No, not. I am an auditor. Oh, she's an auditor. Right? Ah, she's yeah. an auditor. auditor. I so. am the teacher of my but, my but children. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> oh, yeah. you are working. You are working in the. How do you say la corte cuentas? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. I I I uh, uh, I need some. I need Some a favor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Carlos, give me your three sentences. The three, uh, the two lies, the but, two okay. real ones and the lies. Uh, I love the Japan food. One, number one. Uh -huh. Japanese. I Japanese. like play basketball. The first, the first. 
Uh -huh. uh, the fair, the fair, okay, okay, okay. Don't and the fair. last one is, uh, I love exercise. <laughs> you don't like it's easy. Easy. It's very easy. Very easy. 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 Uh, you the last you, one. You made it very one. easy. Okay. Uh, but you like to play basketball. Yes, I love, I love. Yeah, it is curious yeah. because he likes to play basketball, but he doesn't like to exercise. So it's like you exercise uh, while, pay, while uh, playing. Teacher, I I use one ball of the basketball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, oh good. I, you when say was I, when young, I was young. <laughs> okay, you say I like to eat Japanese food, right? I like, I like to eat Japanese food, right? And I like to play basketball. When you mm -hmm. use like, remember that you're going to use the infinitive after it, right? I like to. Evelyn, go I like ahead. To. Okay. Okay. I love mathematics. Uh -huh. I can cook tamales. Uh -huh. I can eat pupusas every day at any time. The first one. The first one. The first one. <laughs> the first the one. second one. The second, the second one. I the think the second one, one is not real. Yes, the second one. I'm an engineer. Oh, she's an engineer. <laughs> she loves mathematics. She's an oh, engineer. Oh, okay. Excellent. For sure. Yeah, ask me. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, like I am in the human area, right? So mathematics in English. Mm, they are not very good friends. And I know some very good English teachers who love mathematics, right? And it is curious because I studied accounting. <clears throat> and I don't like mm -hmm. mathematics. Weak. <laughs> so, but Evelyn is an engineer. And you can cook tamales. No. No. <laughs> no. But you love to eat them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Let's see. Mr. Miguel Ramirez. Because you are very... You're thinking about your things. Go ahead. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good, night. good morning. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me. I need you to tell me three things about you, but one has to be false. I love it to pupusas. Uh -huh. I love to eat pupusas. Uh -huh. I, I like I like drink. Uh, drink uh, juice. I like to drink juice. Uh -huh. uh, I like uh, play to soccer. I like to play soccer. Uh -huh. like, like, yes. Tell me people, he likes to eat pupusa, he likes to drink juice and he likes to play soccer. And he's a yes. man. Which one okay. is not Maybe real? Number two. The second two. Uh huh. Number two, <laughs> he doesn't like to drink juice. Mm, what is la? What is your la, the question? Okay. Well, it's it's your sentences. Come on, I am just repeating your sentences. One of them has to be false, right? Which of the three sentences is false? Oh. Uh. I... I like to play basketball. Uh, uh, I like I listen to music. Uh -huh. My God, we have five. <laughs> I don't know which one is false. Oh, ya no sé cuál es la falsa. Mm. Uh, I like I love to my wife. Ah, that's true. That's true, right? I, yes, I think, the last one, the last one. <laughs> Como? The last one. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and maybe his wife is right there. He's like, mm-hmm. Next to him. Can you repeat that? <laughs> so like, She's next to him. <laughs> I, think, I think he likes to drink, but not juice. <laughs> Yeah, mm. maybe he likes to drink coffee or soda, but not juice. Yes. Okay. Miguel, ¿cuál era la, la falsa? Y no me digas que la última. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
basketball. You don't like to play basketball. Hey, you see, and I was going to invite Carlos to go and play with you. Ah. Okay, let's see. Mr. Humberto, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay, the first one, um, I love play basketball. I love to? I love to play basketball. Uh -huh. um, I love, um, I love to cooking um, the weekend. I love to cook. Uh -huh. I love to cook weekends. And, uh -huh. and the last one, um, I love the cats. Uh, yeah. Maybe, the maybe cats. number three. Number three. I love the one. cats. Yeah, I think number the three cat, is false. The cat the, is false. Number three is false. Uh, yes. Uh -huh, I, don't, I don't like the cats. <laughs> like, okay, you have a dog, right? Yeah, uh -huh. three. I, I have a, uh, three dogs. I have three dogs, you say, okay? Good, uh -huh. because I remember that from, from a class that you mentioned that you had three dogs. So remember, when you use your statements, you say, I love to in a normal verb, right? I like to in a normal verb, okay? So that's for you to keep in mind. Mr. Gerardo. Okay. And then Adrián, so prepare. Okay. Uh, the first, I like eat pupusas in the morning. I like to. I like to eat pupusas in the morning. Uh -huh. The second, I like to cook. Mm -hmm. And the third, I like read the books. I like to. I like to read the books. I like to read books. Eh. You don't Maybe like pupusas in the morning. Number second. second. The second. second. You don't like to cook. No, but look at that beautiful kitchen. I mean, I mean, he he maybe he loves cooking because that the kitchen is, or maybe your wife loves be, cooking. Be, kitchen is, is the, this your because wife? Because the wives go, say to him, go to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think number one, you don't like pupusas in the morning. But everyone likes to in, in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, in the middle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the false is the number one. Uh. You see, you see, I told you, I told you. Why? Uh, why? Yeah. I remember. Uh, not I, don't, I don't like, don't like, don't like the, the it puts us in the morning. Really? Because, because I know. Okay, I am out of here. Okay, bye bye. Oh, ah, yes. <laughs> I, I am are, leaving the class. Are you, are you Salvadorian, Gerardo? Yes, well, yes. I'm very you're, in, Why? Okay. you're in a Salvadorian. <laughs> really? Well, but, 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 I, but I, I prefer uh, uh, beans, egg. fries, eggs, uh -huh. uh, cheese. A, a strong. You okay. like you like heavy breakfast. Mm. Is no. I mean usually, very usually, very complete. Usually, usually it's cereal and milk. Um, oh, okay. coffee because my, in the morning is very very fast for my take my children at the school ah okay so that's understandable right and with the pupusas okay. it's like a, a a big romantic process right <laughs> with the pupusas yeah. to to open it i mean to dig it in the sauce yeah it's and, a big, a and, big and then in front of the computer working and, and don't like it pupusas that i don't like <laughs> <laughs> you continue talking. Yeah, I'll be like, Gerardo, y ese curso. Hey, look at the perdes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Adrián, go ahead. <laughs> Mr. Adrián. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, uh, the first I like mm -hmm. uh, to sing romantic music. Uh, two, I like to drink yerba mate. And the three, I can use Advanced Excel. Ah, uh, I I can see that you like yerba mate, maybe, and you can use Excel because of your work. I think number one. Yes. 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 There's a number. I remember uh, he, he told told us the the light the rock the rock. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. the yerba mate is a drink. Okay, don't yes, think. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, people who are watching this video, uh, they, they don't drink anything prohibited, okay? It's just a drink. It's tea. <laughs> it's herbal mm. tea. Okay, good. <laughs> good, very good. Thank you very much. Let's go with Mr. Boris Rodriguez. 
Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. My, okay. I love to drink beer every weekend. Uh -huh. First, yes, second, <laughs> I work. Uh -huh. <laughs> I work in a warehouse. It's very hard. Uh -huh. And the last one, I went to Costa del Sol Beach with my bike. Ay, ay, ay. The last one. I think maybe the, uh, the, the first one. one. The last one. The four, the four. So in where the where he lives? Going to hope. In Soyapango. Second. Second. No, oh, okay. The, no. the, the first one. The first. the first one. I think the first, the first one is, is not it's not real. You don't like to drink yeah. beers. Because yeah. maybe if you exercise, that is not really along with it. So which yeah. one is false? I don't like I don't like drink beer. Yay! You see? Yeah. <laughs> Say that it's times two because I don't like it either. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Miguel Ramirez, go ahead. Oh, no, 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 Miguel already did it. Catherine Bonilla. <laughs> Another time. <laughs> Catherine Bonilla, go ahead. Catherine, hello. Catherine at one. Catherine at five. Marta Fontan. Good evening, teacher. Hi. I like to cook. Uh -huh. I like to read a book. I like to read books. Uh -huh. I like to wash the dishes. Ah, you like to wash the I think that one is fun. It's here. <laughs> the last one. Number, That's three. number three. Number, number three. three. Yes, I hate. Oh, I hate it too. It works. I hate it. And it is it is very curious because in some cases you hate to wash the dishes, but you love to cook, and you love yes. to cook in a clean place. So it's yes. like uh, <laughs> I love cooking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it it happens. It happens very good. It happens with my husband. He cuts one onion in one. A container, then a tomato, another container, then the green pepper, another container. And I'm like, oh my god, I have to wash everything. Come on, <laughs> good. And let's see, Briselda Castro, go ahead. You're the last one. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Um, I like to drive. Uh huh. I can't to cook. I can't cook. I can't cook. And I love run in the morning. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Number three. Number three. Number three. <laughs> yes. Number three. <laughs> you don't like running in the morning. <laughs> I don't like well, running. <laughs> well, it, it is funny because in the morning, all of us run, but because we are late and we're like, oh, yeah. my God, with everything. <laughs> And it's like yes. in a compu y no sé qué, el niño, el chucho, no le comer al gato. Eh? <laughs> Crazy. We don't like to run. We no, need to run. We need to run, right? It's like we don't prefer that. So it was a very good thing. On the previous class, we were talking about different messages on the phone, right? Delivering things and delivering the different ideas that we want to uh, provide to another person, right? Today, it's the last class, right? I ask you to complete this one on the platform and I hope you did it. Can you tell me just a little bit of what you remember from this last reading that you did on the platform? Uh -huh. What do you remember in general from this last reading? When you use the phone, Ajá. ¿Pasaron, oh, yes. ¿Pasaron por la plataforma? Yeah. Ajá, yeah, I see you did it. Yes. Okay, so what do you remember from this? I remember this one. From Good this morning, one. it's a weekend. Ajá, uh, right. Uh, yeah. Different yeah. rules. Different rules. Different rules. I I things that we, we don't to do. Ajá. When you use the phone in, a, in public. In public, right? The things that yeah. you don't have to do when you are on the phone in public. So those are the specific things. In general, what are the specific things that you don't have to do on the phone if you are in public? Not only from the reading, but in, in, in general life. 
Uh, I don't know if it's on on the on the text, Hello. but we don't we we may to to speak slowly. Okay, you have to speak no, uh, oh, slowly up down. Okay, voice. you don't have to speak aloud, right? You don't have to speak yeah. aloud when you are on the phone. It happens that in some cases, one person answers the phone and it's like if it's answering for everybody in the room, like, yeah. like, ¿Qué? ¿Y qué pasó? ¿Y qué le dijo? And then it's like, <laughs> you're paying attention because you're on the, on the phone yeah. or on the bus. It happens on the bus that you answer the phone on the bus and then when you are about to leave, it's like, ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Así ya me bajo en paz. <laughs> okay. What are specific places on which you don't have to use the phone? No speaking and driving. No, no talking. Wow. Aha, very good. Mm -hmm. Right, when you are at the church, when you are at the church, you shouldn't use the Similar. phone, right? When yeah. you are driving, you don't have to use the phone, right? If another person tells you to do it, you don't have to do it, right? And um, for sure, if you are in a meeting, you don't have to be talking on the phone and other people talking, right? Don't shout. No, okay? And if another person is talking, you don't have to get closer to the person. It's like, hmm, really? <laughs> no, right. That is totally unpolite. So if you see that a person is talking on the phone, you just walk away, right? Stay away from the person. Okay, so today the activities that we have to do, I mean, to finish everything that we have done in all this journey, it is to give a quick tour on the platform, right? So we need to do a little quick turn on the platform. So this was your friend for all these days, right? This, uh, I think you can see my screen, right? And you can see your friend, yes. the platform, for sure. Yes. So this was your friend for all this uh, last month, right? And I hope you have completed every single thing, right? We started right here on section number one. And on this one, you cover different topics. Do you remember the topics from section number one? Do you remember what we what we talk about when we were studying here? Aha, ya los caché a todos. Chen, 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 this is the exam. Hmm? You see? Adverb. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Adverbs and adjectives, and adjectives, right? Adverbs and adjectives, good. Right, we were talking about the different places. Ah, uh, no, okay. Perdonados. Because we were not together in the first class, okay? We were not together in the first class and in the second one. So, totally uh, forgiven, right? You are forbidden on this one because... Uh, I was not in the in the first class. Okay, good. So let's go back. Let's go back here. In the first topics of the unit, you were talking about different places and you were talking about different adjectives and adverbs that you use to describe the things, right? And you were talking about El Salvador, you were talking about different places and you were giving adjectives to these different places. Just to make a quick review, give me adjectives for El Salvador. It's a beautiful country. It's a small country. El Salvador is a small country, right? Yes. El Salvador is very nice. But it's really That's a nice hot. people. El Salvador has nice people. El Salvador is very hot, right? For sure, it's very hot. Yeah, El Salvador is very hot. Mostly like the the south part, like San Miguel and, and La Unión and all that. 
So it is very hot, right? It's a very exciting place. Salvador is beautiful. El Salvador is beautiful, right? It's very, very beautiful. Then we continue with the process of learning and everything. You learn how to use the adjectives before the, uh, sorry, the adverbs before the adjectives. And we explore things like it's fairly big. It's very nice, right? It's really nice. These are like kind of intensifiers that you can use at the moment of speaking and at the moment of using adjectives. So you say, ah, she is really beautiful, right? You use the adverb really to intensify the fact that all the ladies in the class are very beautiful. The next one, um, you were talking about soul. So I remember that uh, you were asking about this exam at the very beginning, right? Teacher, I, I don't know this one. What's Seoul like? Seoul was the city that you were talking about in the conversation, right? Then we continue yes. and we used uh, conjunctions with and, okay. but, though, and oh, however. however. This was my first class with you, I remember, right? We studied conjunctions and you were laughing because of the word conjunctions. Yeah. It's, a, it's a very funny thing, right? And, but, though, and however, right? Conjunctions. What is the difference between and and but? But is the contrario. Uh -huh. it's, it's to contrast. It's to contrast. Okay. But is to contrast and and? We add more information. Excellent. You add more information right very good job then we continued in the life right we continue working and you were talking about taipei right and the different things we did this one in class i gave you the answers of this exercise in class we did it together after this one we completed uh, the models with can and should giving recommendations about what you can do when you visit a country, right? The things that you can do when you visit El Salvador. And you were telling me, ah, you should visit Santa Ana, you should visit Lago de Cotepec and all that. In the next one, right? What should I see there? You were giving recommendations about the different places that you can visit. After this one, we moved on into a can and should for a making question, right? Can I use my cell phone if I travel by bus in El Salvador? No. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> you, say, you shouldn't you should. because if not, it's going to uh, you change. To, to stay without a cell phone. It's going to change the owner. So it is not recommendable, right? It is not recommendable. So those are the things that you shouldn't do. And El Salvador is a beautiful country. Not everything is very dangerous. So there are some parts that we need to be very careful. So, and in this one, we had the exam with can, uh, can't, should, and shouldn't. And believe it or not, that was the way we finished our first section of the classes, right? With should and shouldn't. Then we completed section number two right? Time flies when you're having fun. And in section number two, we were working about what? Do you remember? Chin, chin, chin. Common health problems. We were talking about health problems, right? We laugh a lot about this. I remember the conversation on the pharmacy. That was a lot of fun. Let's see, right? We were talking about health problems. Just to give a quick review, can you mention some of the health problems that we learned? Headache. Aha, uh -huh, headache, hey. good. What else? Cold. Um, a cold, stomach. good. Stomachache. Stomachache. Stomachache, stomach very good. Another one? Um, this time it's the COVID. <laughs> COVID, well, yes, COVID. COVID. The flu, insomnia. The flu, flu. insomnia, good, diarrhea. <laughs> Fever. Yeah, a broken heart. I oh, know that is not a health problem, but it hurts. Burn, burn, burning, burn. A burn, right? A burn. burn. Good, very good. 
So a cold. A cold, right? After the health problems, we moved a little bit into the different containers and the different recommendations that you can do for each problem. And we gave recommendations using a specific word to give advice. What was the word? To say. Uh -huh. But if you say, ah, teacher. It's a good know. idea. It's, it's a good, good idea, idea to take vitamin, to take some C. vitamin C. Good. Or you say, you should. You should take vitamins, you should visit the doctor, you should go to the hospital, right? Should. We use uh, that word for us to give pieces of advice. It's then, important. Yeah, it is important too. Good, we started that as well. So here we also work on the different recommendations, right? We read, uh, we gave pieces of advice. And we were talking about the different medications that you can get at the pharmacies, right? We were giving different recommendations on the pharmacies. And what do you suggest? What do you suggest for a headache? What do you suggest for a stomachache? And we were giving also some natural treatments, right? For these ones. And the modal verbs again, can, could, and may for suggestions can, could, and may for suggestions. We were using that in unit number two. The next one that we did was a, right, the use of the models, right? To make questions. May I help you? If you offer help to a specific person who goes and asks for help at the doctor or at the pharmacy. And for this one, try this. We were talking about uh, situations that we have tried before and they have worked for the different health problems. That they say, hey, I have a headache. Uh, use some big vaporu on the, on the forehead. And some people say that it works, but we never know, right? Or, or they say, uh, drink, a, a drink tea and it works. Take an aspirin, right? Then we were in the middle of this and we moved to unit number three. We moved to section three. And in this one, we were talking about, let's see if you remember, after the health problems. Deciding where go, where we going to dinner. Aha, we were talking about food, right? This was a very difficult class because you told me, teacher, I am very hungry and you are talking about food in the restaurant and all that. I remember that. But you were talking, like, I want to eat some pupusas and pasta and sushi and all that. And you were like, Grrr. they're very hungry. <laughs> I remember that class. So how to invite people to go out for dinner? How do you use it in conversations? And we used so, to, neither, and either to confirm or to refuse information. It's like, I, ah, so do I. I do too, right? Neither do I. Uh, either can I. This was a difficult topic, I remember, for many of you, but we did it. We did it, right? The different statements using. Uh, the words that I just mentioned. Then we continue working and we moved a little bit on chin, chin, chin. Uh, pronunciation, right? The different pronunciation of sentences that I made a lot of emphasis on this one because it's very important how to pronounce, how to use the, the different pronunciation styles. So please keep that in mind for the next levels. And we created a little restaurant, right? I remember that you made, uh, you made, you created orders with the little menu that I brought, and we learned how to order a meal. And after that, we moved a little bit forward and would and will for requests, right? How. When you like when you go to the restaurants, like what would you order? What would you like to order? 
right? We learned also that. And for sure, we moved into the last exercise that was asking for food in a restaurant. Then we covered almost one of the last units. And that was about? Excellent. You were using comparatives, right? How to compare and contrast, right? You were using comparatives. And for sure, you did the midterm exam, right? The midterm exam was the one that we did on vacation, right? You were on vacation doing exams. And for sure, I hope you have completed all of them. I know you did it already, right? The midterm exams that cover all the previous information that I already mentioned. And unit number four was about comparatives and superlatives. In this one, I brought you back in time for you to remember comparatives and superlatives. Okay. And you were also talking about places, right? The biggest and the best. We learned about geography. What do you remember from the vocabulary from geography? Uh -huh. Mountain, the river. Mountain, lake, lake hills, rivers. Hills. Oceans. Excellent. The lake, the ocean, the yes. beach. The beach. Very good job. Right? So we were talking about geography. And later on, we learned about comparatives. And after that, you learned about, uh, well, comparisons with adjectives. We were using the different comparatives. You did. Exactly. What do you add? What do you add to the adjective in a comparative? What do you add to the adjective to create a comparative? ER. ER. And EST. E EST. E exactly. EST for a superlative, right? Superlative, yes. yes. Excellent. Very good. So the last, the last things that we were doing at unit number four, where we went over questions of choice. When you say, which one is larger? Which one do you prefer? Which one is more beautiful, right? We did questions about measurements as well with how, how big is Santa Ana? How far, right? How deep is Cuatepeque Lake, right? These were the questions that we were creating there with how. And last but not least, we arrive to the final unit. What was the final section about? Uh-huh. Present continuous with present continuous. Present continuous, right? We talk about present continuous. Making plans for the future using present continuous. And in this one say like, I am going, I am having, I am visiting, right? This was lesson number five, right? The section number five was about present continuous and be going to, right? I am going to visit, I am having a family dinner, right? What are you doing tonight? Are you doing anything on Friday? Right, those were the sentences that we were using. And the final topics that we studied, which was it? Present continuous. Uh -huh. And the final topic that we studied in this module? Can I take a message? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vocabulary on the phone, right? How to... Uh, give a message and how to ask for a message. What is the difference between tell and ask? Um, ask, ask is for is, question. Uh, order is, is uh, giving an order to do something. Specifically, right? When you use ask, it's to give an order or to ask for a request. And tell is just to give, a, give message, a message, right? To give a message. And this was the last thing that I asked you to do to finish, right? The cell phone etiquette, the reading that I was showing you right now. You see, so this was a little journey on everything that we did on the module. 
I hope you have uh, acquired all the different knowledge, put it into practice, right? All the different vocabulary that, uh, that we have from these five different units of study. And so what is the point that we are missing? And I hope that you have completed as well. It is our final friend, the exam. Chun, chun, chun. So here we have the final exams. In the final exams, you are going to have, for example, in this one, you have telephone conversations, right? And you have to complete the telephone conversations with, for sure, an answer here. And what is the, the different telephonic, the, te the different telephone conversations that we have? This one, it's an invitation. Do you remember which was this invitation for? For a beach party, a birthday party, a restaurant, or to go swimming? Beach party. Beach party. Beach party. It was a beach party, right? What about this excuse? He starts work at 6 p.m. He starts work at 6 p.m., right? What was Rita's uh, invitation? Dance, dance, performance. Dance, performance. Dance, performance. A dance performance and what was the excuse she needs to, she needs to, to study for the test. test she needs to study for a test i ah, maybe she was my student that's why she needed to study for a test so in this one you have to organize the words to make a sentence we did this one together many times on the whatsapp group right and it says, what, what do you plan to do? Plan to do. What tonight. do you plan tonight. to do tonight? And he says, like, I plan to do. want to stay. Want I to want to stay home. home. Want to stay. Um, what are you and David going, to, going to, do. to do? Going to do. Very good. We, we would like, like, like to have a like barbecue have on the beach. We would like to have a barbecue on the beach, but it might rain. And what about this one? What do you have to, have to do? do. What do you have have to do? To Very good. And the last one? I, I love to travel, travel in Europe travel. for a while. In Europe for a while. I would love to travel in Europe for a while. So that's very good. I can see that you have made your exams already. Or at least you know what you are going to do. So in this one, it says circle the correct word. It says, there are a lot of beautiful trees in this forest, forest. forest, forest. right? Because the sea and the waterfall do not have trees. <laughs> the next one, a desert, a desert, a desert. A desert. A desert. A desert. desert. It's a very hot and hot dry, and and dry, dry place. place. What about this one? A Mountain. 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 A mountain. Oh, mountain. Always higher. Higher. Always higher than a valley. Than a valley. Higher than a valley. Good. And the last one, please. Please tell. No. Please tell Mary. Mary. Please tell Mary. Please tell Mary. There's Mary. a school party on Sunday. Very good job. Would you ask Bill? To bring. To bring. The bring. To, bring. To, bring. to bring, right? I, I use this one in the in the little charts on the class. Do you remember? Habían unos post-its ahí chiquitos en la clase que yo los usé. Could you tell Dana the movie starts at 8.15? At 8.15. Very good job. Let's see the last one. We have one of the last ones here. It says, complete the sentences with would, will, I would or I will. What? Will. What would you, will like, like, to eat? would you like, like to eat? What kind of potatoes would you like? I will have, have potatoes. potatoes. I will have. Very good. Anything to drink? Yes, please. I would like some water. I would like some water. Anything else? No, 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 that will be, that all. Will be all. That, that will, be, will all. be all. We did that exercise in class. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see? Ya lo había, ya lo había premeditado todo. Yeah. Which city is? Crowell. More crowded. More crowded. More crowded. More crowded. Which city is more crowded? 
Very good. What about the next one? Is Disney World the most, the famous, most, the most, the most famous amusement park in the world? The most famous amusement park. Very good. What about number three? What is the longest, the longest river in the world? In the, the longest river in the world. The or Nile. Danube or Nilo. The Danube or the Nile. The Amazon, the Danube or Nile. Good. Very good the job. Okay. Hey, wait. Where's my camera? Here you go. Okay. So here, one, one, one before the last one. Complete the requests. And we did this one also as well. Please tell Ken. Ken that the test. Ken that the test, test on, on Thursday the, is at the 1 p.m. On Thursday, Thursday is Thursday at, is at 1, 1 p.m. Yeah, yeah please, please tell Ken that the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Okay. Yeah. What about uh, number two? Would you ask Alex to meet me after class today? Okay, to meet me after class. Very good. Number three. Would you tell Marcus that there is a volleyball game tonight? Very good. And the last one? Please ask Paula to come to picnic on Saturday. Very good job. Hey, I have very good students. I really like when students actually pay attention and they know how to do things, that it's really nice. And the final thing, right? We had an article. And in this article was about a big island. In the big island, we were talking about Hawaii, right? Everyone knows that Hawaii, it's a beautiful group of islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But did you know that Hawaii is both the name of the state and the name of the biggest island on the state? Yes, it is confusing. So most people call the island of Hawaii the big island. The weather on the big island is very interesting. It has 10 of the 15 kinds of uh, climates in the world, including tropical, desert, mountain, and alpine. Imagine it has <laughs> alpine weather. Sometimes it gets even, it gets snow on top of its two biggest volcanoes. Imagine a volcano, a lot of lava, and snow. How crazy. On the west side of the island, the weather is sunny. Kailua Kona is almost perfect. It gets up about 80 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter and 87 Fahrenheit in the summer. It only gets down to 64 in the winter and 69 in the summer. The koala area in the north is the driest part of the island with only about 10 inches of rain every year. So it's just like, psh, 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 that's it, like El Salvador. <laughs> On the east side, Hilo gets around 140 inches of rain. Imagine from one place to another one. In one place, it rains just a little bit, and in the other one, whoosh, it's very crazy, and they are very close to each other. And it is the wettest city in the United States. All that rain makes for some amazing waterfalls near Hilo. Water temperatures are coldest in February and warmest in September and October. There is good snorkeling, great scuba diving, and wonderful fishing all the year round. That makes the big island popular with people from all over the world any time of the year. I think they have the best of the best. And what is Hawaii? A city, a state, an island, or a state in an island? Okay. It's a state in an island. A state in an island. In an island. An island. Right. Island. Island. What climate is not found in Hawaii? Arctic. 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 Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where can you find the Arctic weather? There is no one. Right? In in any of them? The next one. How hot does it get in Kailua, Kona in the winter? 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80, right? It gets 80 degrees, right? The, the highest. And the last one, where does it rain the most? In the, in, the, in the east. In the east, right? In the yeah. east. So it rains the most in the east. So there you have your answers, right? 
Arctic and stayed in an island. You did a very good exam with me right now. Right, very good job. So, and after this, and after this, for sure, it was the end of our, uh, of our platform. For this one, 10, 100 and everything, give me your certificate. <laughs> That was good. Yeah. Well, for tomorrow, my dear students, prepare your final presentation. Tomorrow you have your final presentation about the module. What were the things that were more, most difficult to you? What did you enjoy the most? And what do you expect for the next one? Okay. You are going to have a formal presentation tomorrow. So I am going to be waiting for all of you. You are going to take like two minutes each. Okay. De uno o dos minutos cada uno. Así tenemos suficiente tiempo para que presenten todos. Ok. So, for you to finish the module. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. If you haven't finished, finish, please. Si no han terminado algo o le falta algún detalle, termínenlo. And then we are done with this. I am going to see you tomorrow for your final presentation, your final oral presentation. And it's it has been a pleasure for me to accompany you tonight in the class okay have a great night and i am going to be waiting for you tomorrow on your final evaluation okay have a great okay. night and see you tomorrow bye-bye good, 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 good night good night everybody bye-bye take care bye -bye. enjoy your night bye-bye